Let's start in Baku, where COP29 is well underway. Fill us in. Yeah, that's right, Dami. As we finish the third day of this year's United Nations Climate Change Conference, world leaders were seen expressing concerns and also renewing their commitment to mitigating climate change. Now, one of the highlights so far came on Wednesday when Albanian Prime Minister Edi Rama criticised world leaders for not listening to each other's speeches. Since yesterday I was watching the silent TV screens in the leaders' lounge. People there eat, drink, meet and take photos together while images of voiceless speeches from leaders play on and on and on in the background. To me, this seems exactly like what happens in the real world every day. Thank you, Your Excellency. Other leaders at the start of this year's conference of the parties made new commitments, including Brazil, whose vice president presented the country's new climate action plan, which aims to reduce emissions by a minimum of 59% by 2035, compared to 2005 levels, while UK's Prime Minister Keir Starmer announced that Britain would cut greenhouse gas emissions by 81% by 2035. With a new report from the UN's weather agency saying 2024 is on track to be the warmest year on record, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres once again emphasized the urgency of climate action on Tuesday, saying that no country is spared and that it's time to deliver.